So hopefully the intro is self-explanatory. This is a text-to-speech. It is terrible, and it is the worst thing I have ever made. Um, currently, it only supports individual letters and digraphs. There is room for trigraphs. I can add stuff there, the support for them, but they're not there yet because I didn't feel like recording trigraphs and adding all that freaking stuff. I already spent two hours recording all the sound files for this project, and I am done for now. Uh, it works, and that's about all I can say about it. So uh, let's just switch over. Let's actually talk about uh, how you run this. So first of all, you need to input a char array, the same output that you get from our string converter uh, in our uh, strings, the strings module uh, in our, uh, our GitHub repo, which I'll have in the description down below. I won't be linking this because this is terrible and no one will ever want to use it. So I'm just not going to link it. I'm not going to bother. Um, but you run a text-to-speech call and then text-to-speak uh, speech, or uh, speak, I guess. Uh, this right here parses letters out. So if we go to uh, data git uh, storage TTS main, um, as you can see, it sort of parses stuff into individual letters as well as digraphs, as you can see here with uh, two and uh, th, as well as like or, st, th, in, uh, ai, ha, ve, and stuff like that. So it sort of parses stuff together into groupings. Uh, a trigraph would just be three letters inside of an array here instead of just two or one. Uh, spaces are just spaces. Uh, but yeah, th that's that's sort of how you run it. Let's go ahead and switch over to the functions. Uh, we start out with our call here. This is the call to do conversions. We reset the uh, arrays, our generated array and our pre-processed array, and then we run our check letter. Uh, check letter is a looping function. As you can see down here, we have a loop. Uh, what we do is we set our check value from the from pre-pro or uh, I mean from our input array as you can see here um, and we put that into our check register we also reset check two and three you'll see what those are here are four here in a second and then we remove that input value zero because we don't need it anymore and then we modify storage um, pre-pro or reset that uh, temporary array and then we add that uh, character that we put into our check register into there and then we go ahead and check for digraphs now this is a long function with a bunch of conditions a bunch of checks really uh, we check for the first letter and uh, we're also writing the character that is in the first slot of the input array to the check to register um, and then we check to see if the first letter and second letter make a digraph if they do we run digraph found uh, down here at the bottom, we also have repeat characters, like C and K are the only ones that aren't actually repeat characters, but they make the uh, k sound, so I just have it doing a K, and I'll show what that is here in a second, or how that works. We also have S, S, T, uh, F, L, O, and M. Uh, I can add other stuff later. All I have to do to add a new digraph is add um, a new set of letters here, and then run the digraph found. Uh, so in the digraph found function here, we reset that pre-process array and then we add the check value and the check to value into that and then we remove the main in zero because we do not need that anymore because it's been processed as a digraph for double letters it's the same thing except we aren't copying the first check we're just copying the second one in so that's how that works um, i could also probably have just add a digraph for, for uh, a digraph for c and k to just produce the K sound, but that's uh, literally hours ago and I couldn't be bothered. Um, so after we check for digraphs, we take that pre-process array and we append the whole array into that generated array. As you can see here, these are arrays of characters. Uh, it's an array of arrays. Uh, inside those arrays are characters. Uh, and then we just loop it, as I said. So this runs until there's nothing left in that input array. Uh, and then the call function is done and it is parsed or processed, however you want to say it. Uh, next function we have is <coughs> speak. Uh, we just write that generated array from the main into uh, the sounds array. So if we go ahead and do data get uh, TTS generated uh, or gen, we have our voice here, uh, which right now is just me. 
uh, but I can add more voices to the system. I'll show how you change the voice here in a second. And then we also have our current value, which is one, two, and three. This is where the support for trigraphs comes in on this end. And then we have our sounds array, which is this generated array uh, from the output. So uh, we then run next sound. Uh, next sound is a looping array. It doesn't look like it, but we run schedule commands with the uh, actual play sounds, which I'll show. Uh, we reset our current values, our one, two, and three. Um, and then we write current one, two, and three in from the first um, the first array in that sounds, uh, that generated array. And then we write one, two, and uh, value one, two, and three from that subarray into those uh, current one, two, and three values. Uh, and then we remove that uh, array that we're grabbing from. And then we run vocal. Now this is where I run based on what those inputs are in that current object. Uh, we run a sound right here. As you can see, this is a digraph for an. We have at. Uh, this is where I can input a third letter for a trigraph. Uh, and this is all the way down to Z. This is all 66. Or no, there's, there's more than 66. There's 66 of these functions here. So as you can see, we have these uh, function TTS sounds and then the sound. And then here we have 66 of these functions, which are the 66 sounds that I have recorded. They're all just variations on this. Uh, play sound uh, gibbs.ai, as you can see here. Uh, if the voice we have selected is Gibbs, it'll run the gibbs.ai. I can just add another one with someone else's voice and change the play sound command here. Uh, I haven't added positional support. I need to, but not yet, or not right now. I've been doing this for hours and I'm tired. I'm just tired of this. I'll work on it more later whenever I feel like it. Uh, right now it's just crappy, so I don't care. Uh, and then this right here is approximately how long that sound file is before it needs to play the next sound, which is this right here. Uh, so that's that's how it works. It's rudimentary. It's crappy. I could probably make it sound better with time, uh, but I don't have the patience right now. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch y'all next time.